So we've got another man coverage, press coverage play against the Tennessee Titans. Um, pretty pretty easy to know it's man. You have a linebacker here on Kenneth Gainwell. They just sent him back in motion. Uh, so telltale signs is it's it's man coverage. You got your Y backside, right? You have your X here, you have your Z, and you have your H. So Kenneth Gainwell is your F. He's coming back in motion. So once again, they're locked up. Eyes straight at him. He's not going to play any type of deep third quarters of him looking straight at him, especially when there may be threats that come into his end zone. If, for example, he runs a stop, I mean, it's his own. He runs a stop here, and then he runs, you know, a deep or so, deep something like that. You got safety, who's not as deep as the Giants. He's about ten yards off, but you'll see him kind of walk back to fifteen uh, once the play starts. So you got man coverage locked up. You got um, this linebacker who's standing up. Typically, linebackers in this league now, they don't they don't typically do a a a, a show and go. What they'll do is a show and they'll go back into coverage. So, Jalen Hurts is pretty pretty understand that this guy's not gonna just gonna go because unless they're running some unless I don't know they're real bold about it. But um, you no, know, you have four down linemen going straight. This linebacker is gonna drop. So you have pretty much man coverage with a high a high um. A high, a high uh, uh, safety and the low linebacker kind of guarding this middle area uh, for any type of drags. These the linebacker typically works as a spy on Jalen Hurts, and you'll see during his play how he works as a spy once this play gets started. So um, once you roll a play, you'll see Jalen Hurts really understand what he's kind of working with. You can see the matchup that you want to. He probably has an idea of the matchup he wants to go to. So once the play starts, linebacker gets linebacker gets back. Safety gets back. And then what do you see immediately, right? What we're seeing immediately right now is the calamity in the middle. Right. This linebacker decided to go back, so he's essentially spying Jalen Hurst in case he runs. Uh, this is your outlet right here. It's not bad to go there if you need to go there. Um, you know, but this, you know, for him, I like the idea of him making a move on this one guy and then having running room. I like the chances. This safety is just guarding no one. He's out of position. His real threat is AJ is AJ Brown right here, but there's no way he gets to AJ Brown in time if AJ continues to run vertical. The DB he's he's already stacked the DB as well too. But this is your matchup right here. Um, Smitty is hip slow coming out right here. This guy's focused on AJ because he's beat. Um, and then you have the DB who's actually facing this way because he got yoked up. So as you see the play develop. Um, I see a play develop. You see Smitty really wide open. Jalen Hurts has a clean pocket. Now, if you look at this play, you'll kind of see who's wide open. And you have options. He could have thrown it deep to AJ. Oh, sorry. Let me change my pin up. He could have he could threw it. Oh, he could have threw it deep to AJ. But Smitty's the main thing. He stood in the pocket. You know, clean, smooth pocket because he had a spy. And then letting the ball rip to, uh, to um, Smitty, and you have a clean, smooth pass here. So you can see the success the Eagles have against this press, uh, this press, um, against press coverage. If I, you know, to the Chiefs who play press coverage more than anything, you know, it'll be, it's, you know, sometimes these balls are 50-50, but the Eagles are typically coming down with it. You know, when Jalen Hurts has a clean pocket, we see him making the throws, and if not, he's improvising and scoring touchdowns.